all right guys welcome back this is rebuilding matt 24 7 um, in this episode we're going to be prepping the cab that way we can take the cab off the frame and um, do some framework as well as make the transmission cross member My dad just removed the cab doors. Um, as you can see, so what we're looking like, we took the, the fuel tank out. It's right over there. Got a lot of rust, gotta do the cab corners, the floors, All right? Sorry about the dusty uh, camera quality. Broke my camera, but uh, yeah, so. Now we're gonna just reinforce the cab. Uh, we decided we're gonna pull the cab, that way I can box the frame. And so I'm gonna run one square tubing, one square tubing, and then one across, one across. dad build so far it's kind of what we're going to use to uh lift this cab up right here so it's going to shoot across there we're going to use the engine hoist put it up it's going to lift it up take it off This, uh, this contraption we got it on. But uh, pretty much, we're gonna put this on our engine hoist right here. Um, obviously with this bolt, it's gonna go through. And it's uh, the length of the cab, the width of it. And we still have to put two lips on here so that it, if the cab does slide, it's not gonna fall off of this. Um, but the whole point of me not being able to uh, so the whole point of building this and taking off the cab, originally I wasn't gonna take off the cab. I was gonna try to, you know, build the the transmission cross member all under the under the truck. But since the truck sits so low, especially with the 12 valve in there, um, it just sits too low for me, and I'm just too big of a guy to fit under there. My head's too big. I put the welding hood on there. I can't weld my my transmission cross member under there. I'm just having a real hard time, and I just got mad, and I was like. Well, we're gonna lift this cab off, you know what I mean? And it's kind of rusted on the cab supports and all that stuff, but we braced it up yesterday. Um, and uh, that's pretty much gonna be like an endoskeleton so that the, the cab doesn't twist. If it did, it, it, it probably already did, you know, being so old. Um, the doors aren't fitting right, but I'm pretty sure that's the striker or just the alignment, because it looks like they took it off and put it back on wrong. Anyways. We did the endoskeleton, braced the frame up. Um, so that's gonna keep it from twisting or caving in or whatnot. 
And uh, so yeah, pretty much I got fed up the other day trying to make the cross member. And I have some videos of it. And I was just trying to fit under there. You know, I was pretty much, hold I was trying to box in the frame so that I could put my cross member on that and not inside the frame. Um, and I was just having a hard time. I shocked myself, it would just burnt my face. So just goes on there like this, All right? So then it's a half inch bolt, half inch washer. Uh, and it's kind of long. I think I got too much. I think it's an eight inch bolt. I could have got a shorter six inch bolt. But I don't know how much I needed. So that only had six and eight. So I just got eight. So that's that. And I'll tighten that up now. But this is what it is. So pretty much you put it in there. And then when you start jacking it up, it's going to level itself out so that the cab comes off. The cab's not going to be like this. It's going to it's gonna self level. So it's going to be like from here or be from here to here. And then we lift the cab up off the frame and then we move it to where we need it to be. Um, and like I said, we need to put the lips on here. So it's going to be a, a wood piece coming up here, wood piece on that end. And the cabs, if it's, let's say we grab it right here and the cab slides, that little lip is going to keep it from falling off and causing damage. My friend Michael, he has a shop and he was like, just bring it by the shop, get it running. And we'll take the cab off with the, the, the lift, you know? But I, like I said, I just got too frustrated and I was like, fudge, Michael. But, you know, so Michael, you know, I'm pretty much saying, forget about you. I'm going to do it this way, the hard way, and do what I need to do. So, yeah.